welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on another video so today is monday the 10th of june it is a weighing update of course it is because you know come hell or high water i weigh in every single wednesday and yeah today is no different so like i've said thank you so much for joining me i hope you're having a fantabulous week excuse the million layers on me but i have found that the more weight i'm losing <laughs> the colder i am and even as a big bird, I still felt the cold all the time. I was always cold. So now that I am getting slimmer, I'm feeling it even more. Even more. Much to my husband's, yeah, disgust. Yeah, disgruntledness. Whichever word you want to choose, I don't know. But yeah, I've even made him put the heating back on because I'm feeling the cold that much. <laughs> but we'll get past it. So I am really, really looking forward to this nicer weather. Normally I'm not a fan of the warmth, but I can't wait for it at the moment. So Mother Nature needs to pull a finger out and bring this sun on because, yeah, too cold, too, too cold. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that, am I? I'm here to talk about how I've got on this week. So as you know, if you've caught my previous vlogs, I'm not doing anything to do with the Cambridge one-to-one -one diet. I've been doing a combination of Slimming World while watching my calories. I have, um, I've not been, I've made, I've made sure that I've been in a calorie deficit still, but I have been very much following the Slimming World principles, um, like I have done all the way through basically, because I do really, really like Slimming World. I love the group. I love the accountability of obviously standing on calibrated scales every single week so I know what that what I'm seeing is correct and it's not just that my scales are on a different tile this week, anything like that. I always wear the same stuff, it's the same time, it's that yeah. I like everything to do with Slimming World with that. I enjoy the plan. I don't agree with some aspects of it, as you all know already, so I'm not gonna go into the details with that. But I do, overall, as a general rule, I do really enjoy Slimming World and all that um, support that I get from it. But I'm very mindful of what I am eating, so I do make sure that I watch my calories. And this past week, I've just thought, do you know what? I know that I'm keeping an eye on my calories. Um, I've made sure that I've increased them, so I am eating a lot more than I have done previously. I'm obviously still making sure that I get my steps in, I'm still getting my water in, I'm still making sure that I go to bed at a decent hour, I'm still taking all my vitamins, so everything else is still very much the same, but I have eaten very much um, Slimming World friendly style meals, um, you know, like pasta, rice, potatoes, again, aware of how much of that I'm having because they're very high in calories. But then when it's come to like fruit and salad and vegetables, the speed side of things, I've just been filling my boots basically. So I've really been enjoying that. I've been obviously eating the fat-free yogurts. So I've weighed and measured my milk. I've not really had too many bready products. Like I've had wraps a couple of times this week, the Weight Watchers ones. Um, but other than that, I think I had a bagel as well at one point, like one of them... Um, one of the ones that you can have as your healthy extra B. I had one of those as well this week. So I have had bready elements, but yeah, mainly just been filling up on like fruit, veg, protein, that side of things. But again, like I say, I've vastly increased my carb content to what I have done previous weeks um, so that I am more on the extra easy side of the plan rather than like the SP side of the plan where it's like speed and protein. But yeah, I've had a really, really good week. Um, I think my most favourite meal this week, which again, I'm going to sound like a right saddo, but I just really, really fancied a chicken tikka masala. And I was going to cook from scratch, but as all best laid plans, I completely ran out of time. So I just nipped to our local Iceland, which is like literally five minutes away in the car. And I picked up one of the chicken tikka masalas of the Slimming World meals and I made one of those in the oven. I've never done it in the oven before. I normally always ping it in the microwave and the chicken can be quite rubbery, but I did it in the oven this time, left it, I think it was in there for about an hour and oh my goodness, it was amazing. 
absolutely amazing which again you're going to think i'm a right saddle because it's basically a microwave meal but it was just so good and i had it with a combination i did half and half cauliflower rice and then basmati rice i did half and half um so it was it was a decent portion but so that i wasn't having as much rice because again i'm just being very mindful of how much rice i have i think the portion of cauliflower rice it was just one of them steam bags from asda it was a full bag of those and then i think i had 150 grams or 200 grams of cooked basmati rice and just mixed them together fried them in a frying pan with some paprika garlic granules a bit of salt a bit of pepper some chili flakes really massive salad i wish i took a picture of it because it looked absolutely epic one of those massive salads that i always do you know if you've been following me for a while you'll know that i have salad with pretty much everything um and then the chicken tikka and then i made myself like a tzatziki dip so um fat free greek style yogurt and i had to have the greek style one because they didn't have any of the actual fat free greek yogurt in so i had the greek style one with a bit of um, mint sauce in it so that would have been sinned but yeah it was just amazing and it just absolutely hit the spot and so yeah i've just had a really really good week on plan i've eaten loads of yummy food i've like i've said i've had wraps i've had chicken tikka masalas i've made pasta bakes i've had stir fries um thai green curry that was another one chicken thai green curry that was amazing and yeah i've just really really enjoyed my food and i think doing what i've done previously has made me really appreciate the food that i've eaten this past week and i've been like i've said i've been very mindful i've kept an eye on what i've um what i've been eating so that i've not gone ridiculous on calories or anything like that but as much as i've tracked it i've as much as i've tracked it i've not been too strict on my calories i've been more mindful of the slimming world plan and following the slimming world principles i've just made sure that i've not gone like 2000 calories in a day because yeah i'm not going to lose weight on that kind of stuff i've probably been hitting around about 1500 ish calories each day because obviously some days are more some days are less and that's just naturally how it's happened it's not because what i've been doing is i've been planning my meals and then before i've eaten them i've put them through nutricheck so some days like i said have been slightly higher than other days and then other days have been lower just because of the type of meals that i've been having and then when it comes to the meals i weigh everything and then I put it, I alter it in NutriCheck because sometimes it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less, just dependent on the portion. Um, so yeah, just had a really, really good week and I've fallen back in love with all the food. I, you know, yeah, I'm just a very, very happy bunny. As you can probably tell that I just feel very happy with everything and I don't feel deprived. I've not felt deprived one single bit. And I've just really, really enjoyed my week and long may it continue because this is definitely how I'm going to see the rest of my journey out. And again, I don't want to be one of them people that chops and changes, chops and changes, anything like that. I really don't. I think just going forward, I'm going to continue eating this way, watching my calories while following the Slimming World plan. I'm going to continue doing that and any weeks that i might be having a bit of a difficult week i'll just make sure that i up my speed food because especially with watching my calories so much in the past i have really really learned how to eat in a large volume for minimal calories and i'm just going to do that i'm just going to tweak it accordingly like that that i'll just up my speed food and yeah like i say just always monitor my free food and I think that's the way forward for me. I really, really do because I've just had such a good week with food. Such a good week. And yeah, you can tell. You can tell. So sorry if I seem like I'm a little bit like a, a giddy kipper, but that's just the way that I feel. That is just the way that I feel. And you know, I'm always honest. And yeah, there we go. So anyway, I have gone to group this morning. I have stepped on the scales. And you'll probably remember if you saw my vlog last week that I had half a pound gain and I was not happy at all. 
I didn't go on about it too much, or at least I don't remember that I did. So I'm really hoping that I didn't because I just, I've come to accept that my body is going to do weird and wonderful things. And some weeks it's going to do amazing for no seemingly good reason at all. And then some weeks it's just going to do rubbish again for no seemingly good reason at all. And that's just the way it is. Your body fluctuates, doesn't it? You're 90% water and it does, it fluctuates massively. And I've gone to group, I've stepped on the scales and I have lost weight this week, thank goodness. Very, very happy to see a loss. And I only went and lost four pound. Four pound, four pound, gone forever. Gone. See you later, four pound. Or see you never, actually, four pound. But yeah, four pound, which obviously half a pound on last week, but still four pound off this week, which I'm very, 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 very happy about. Wasn't expecting it, but again, it just goes to show that if I've increased my calories, I've increased my variety, that that kind of change and yeah, that kind of change, it's obviously what my body has needed and it's definitely needed those differences of what I've been eating because it's done such an amazing thing. It's it's dropped four pound and I can feel it again. I'm not feeling bloated. Um, I don't think I've gone excessive on my carbs or anything like that. Again, carbs aren't the enemy. I don't mean it like that, but sometimes if I do have quite a carb heavy week, you know, like I'll be having a lot of like cereal -y or bready items in a morning, potato -y or pasta in a afternoon, and then the same potato -y pasta, bready items in an evening. I can have quite a carb heavy week, and then that's when I do tend to feel quite bloated because obviously you're storing quite a lot of water from all the carbs you're eating. Um, and I've not felt anything like that, which I was quite worried about because I've upped my carbs quite a lot. You know, I've I've not been monitoring them. I've not been trying to restrict them. I've just been keeping an eye on them as and when of whatever I've been eating. I've just been keeping an eye on them. So I have been very aware that I am eating a lot more carbs. But yet, clearly, my body is like, bring it on. So yeah, four pound off this week, which is amazing in itself. But if you've done the maths, you'll know Maybe you'll know, maybe you won't. <laughs> but I only needed four pounds to get my four stone award. And I only went and bloody got my four stone award today. So lost four pounds. I am now four stone lighter. I am now in the twelves. So another amazing um, target. So four stone award and I'm in the twelves. I'm now twelve stone thirteen and I started this and I was 16 stone 13. I can't believe it. I'm now a whole pound lighter than I was when I got married over 10 years ago. I weigh less than my husband by a whole stone. I've not weighed less than my husband in forever. Yeah, I'm just, I'm over the moon. I'm actually over the moon. I can't believe it. Yeah. Like I've said, long may it continue. So that means that I've only got two stone now to go to target. Two stone. I'm really excited. I'm feeling quite giddy about it. But I'm also feeling a little bit... Now you're going to think I'm crazy for saying this. You're really going to think I'm crazy for saying this. But I'm feeling a little bit sad about it as well. Because I'm so close to target. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll never not want to reach target. I want to reach target. I want to reach target more than anything with this weight loss journey. But I'm feeling a little bit sad because I know that I'm, I'm 28 pounds basically away from target. And over the next few months, I'm hoping to get that. Definitely by Christmas. I'm hoping a lot sooner than that. I'm hoping by the end of summer, like maybe even like when my birthday comes around in September. I don't know. I don't know because I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. I'm not going to put the kind of pressure on that I had on myself before. 
but I think the reason why I'm not doing that anymore is because I am only two stone away now so I feel like I can take that pressure off a little bit because it's not like I've got six stone to lose any longer I've only got two now so again I do feel like I can take that pressure off myself because it'll come around a lot quicker than I ever expect it to and I think that's the little thing that I'm sad about it because I've been on this weight loss journey for long over 10 years like long over 10 years and now that I've only got that two stone to go it's coming to an end and as much as it's been frustrating tears blood sweat you name it has been shed I've enjoyed the journey I have enjoyed the journey overall there's been periods where I've really not but overall I've enjoyed the journey and it's been a community and it's brought me you guys and it's brought me you know it's just it's just brought me so many things and achievements as well and when you're getting those achievements and you're meeting your own goals and you know you set yourself challenges and you manage to do them it brings you joy and I feel like now that I'm getting towards the end that I'm going to be missing out on all those <laughs> but again as much you probably think I am taught I am absolute batshit crazy for saying this you probably think I am like what the heck are you talking about Andrea and I might not even be making any sense but yeah I just I don't know it just it just feels strange and it feels a little bit sad because it is coming towards the end but I've just got to keep reminding myself that the the joy that I'm going to feel and the happiness and the achievement and how proud I'm going to feel of myself when I actually get to target, which we all know I'm getting to target, that is happening, um, is going to outweigh any kind of sadness. And then I'm going to have a new challenge of maintenance and that's going to be a challenge in itself and I might mess around with my target weight, I might want to put a bit on. I might want to lose a little bit more because personally I feel like in myself as much as I've set my target at 11 stone I feel like maybe 10 and a half stone might be what I want to actually be because I'm still going to be technically overweight at 11 stone and then I'll just float around 10 and a half I don't know yet I'm going to it all depends what I look like and how I feel in myself when I get there. Because I might get to 11 stone and I might be like, do you know what? Actually, no, don't like this. And I might go back up to 11 and a half stone. Who knows? I've, n I've never really remembered being 11 stone or 10 and a half stone. I've just took it for granted in the past. So I never really analysed how I felt at those weights. So to get there now at this age... I think it's going to mean more and I'm really going to analyse it and really make sure that I feel comfortable and it's something that I can maintain. So, yeah, I might end up playing around with it. Again, I really hope all this lot is making sense. I really, really hope it is. But, yeah, then, like I say, I'm going to have maintenance. That's going to be a whole challenge in itself. I'll obviously still keep going to group. That's a no-brainer because I need that support and it's invaluable. It really, really is. Because again, I genuinely don't think I would be here at a four stone loss without that support because I would have talked myself out of going to group so many times. I would have talked myself out of sticking to plan so many times. I know that I would have done because I'm my own worst enemy and I've done it to myself so much in the past. Um... But then, yeah, I'm just going to, I think once I get to target then, I'm just going to look at other avenues of my life and really push that determination into other avenues of my life. Because there's different things that I do want out of life, you know, with my career, with my family life. Not that I want to change my family life. I don't mean like, oh, like that. I don't mean anything negatively. But I want us to do more and get out more and live life more and make more memories and just enjoy things more and yeah just a whole host of things the stuff I want to do with the house with the garden like I've said with my career there's loads of stuff that I want to do career wise um not necessarily to do with midwifery but other things that I want to do that I really really want to do and that I'm very passionate about 
but obviously I'm not mentioning anything like that on here at the moment because these are all just dreams but I'm really this determination that I've used to put into my weight loss journey I am then going to use that same energy to focus on other aspects of my life career life family life home life everything all to improve it massively so yeah that's going to be exciting and obviously I'll share those kind of journeys because it's all going to be it's just it's all just going to be positive and hopefully it'll help keep people on any kind of weight loss track and help keep help people you know maybe improve their own lives and yeah I sound like I'm sat on a soapbox at the moment don't I I don't mean it to sound like that I just want it to all be really really positive and anything positively that is going on in my life I want to share it so then other people can reap the rewards too yeah that's the best way to describe it so yeah four pound this week over the moon absolutely over the moon do i think i'm going to get a big loss like that next week not even a little bit at all when a consultant asked what we want this week i've only said two pound i think two pound is very respectable it's not the four five six seven eight nine ten pounds that i've wanted previously in the past if I get a pound, I'll be very, very happy because, again, I've dropped another big number. But if I can get two pound, then, again, I'll be even more happier with that because it's just, it's decently chipping away at weight loss. So, yeah, that is my aim. If I can lose more, though, happy days. I am all for it. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Just keep on plugging on and just, yeah just doing what it says on the tin and staying focused i've still not had any takeaways obviously i've had like chocolatey things and crisp things but they've all been within my calories and the slimming world plan they've all been on plan um but still no takeaways i've not had a drink of alcohol since when i went to france back at the very very beginning of april so I've not had anything like that yet. Um, I'm not planning on having anything like that anytime soon. I'm going out next month in July. But other than that, no plans so far. But obviously I'll keep you updated as and when things go on. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because I think I've talked long enough. So I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. And if I don't see you before, I will see you next week. So take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.